first we need to be aware our context right if a coach is new at the club uh if the coach is already there if the team is new so we need to have in consideration so many issues like the culture of the country i'm going to talk about my my personal uh moment here so i came from a different culture a different country and for, to a club that is really young and this is the first moment that we are starting our team and the team is made of completely new players and there are players coming from the academy there are players coming from the college environment players coming from other countries and players coming from the first team as well so this is all new and i'm still learning from the culture and i know some players from some videos i've been i know some players from the, the previous matches that we played against them before but everything is new so how we have like a common language here how we have like the same project for everybody how we have like what makes us to come together for me it's going to be like the culture on my team because the club doesn't have a real culture because we are still growing and so I'm going to try to create something based on the field. So for me, I'm really put, putting my efforts on how do I create a, a tactical culture on my team. So everything is new. So we are together every single day to play together, to share the ball, to defend our goal. And how we are going to do it is about how we can work together. So creating the process has coming together imagine i'm on the third week of training i've had already four games and say hey joseph why are you having so many many games because i want to feel them that we are training under our game model that i was presented to him and i'm always trying to adapt the game model to the the player's identity so we want to create like a real identity for the team the cultural identity that i was speaking before but then I'm still knowing about the players, what I need to adjust. So the, 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 the model that I choose to have for this team is really open at the moment. And I need to go to all the training sessions and make sure that I play my game model related with all the different days, but to express them on the games. And I need to see them in competition. So we are trying to have in every single day our game model be present over there fighting and competing every single day but mainly how can i prepare them to be on the games representing ourselves so it's about a teaching and learning process making sure that they are coming together under the game model idea and i found that it's really it's being really difficult from the majority of the players because they are not being taught before how to play with principles okay so play like like now so when i have the ball i try to start by the, on my own is different to, to, to base my decisions regarding my team principles. And this is being the real big issue here. So making sure that they are deciding based on our team main principles, and then by at the same time, respecting them individually. So coming together and take the best out of the players by the game model. So for these four games, we have some good moments already uh not so great moments as well but mainly the process that i'm trying to build is something to be strong so i'm always under my game model ideas and principles okay major make uh, more principles not ideas maybe more principles and when the players they try to understand that uh based on the exercise that i built they are trying they are really trying because it's always like that All, every single day they they want to do something they need to do something they need to be focused over there and then how we can do it on the games as well against an opponent and so far it's been really a, a great challenge to put everybody on the same page in so many different ways so my main major concern is how we build this together with the players having in mind that the game all is always on top of my head so it's showing me the way that i need to follow at the same time with the players uh, ability to learn and to develop the culture the tactical culture that i was talking before
opponents, uh, it's a bit related with uh, our environment, okay? We cannot choose the, the perfect opponent, so we need to be aware that well, the distance here, they are really far away. So for now, we chose to play like, the first one was like a, a really easy team, because uh, I wanted to build something related with success, so we won the first game easily for the players to make sure they were validated on their efforts on the on our game model. So they felt they were okay, they were stronger. And then we had like three games from the same level, the same team. So the, some players, they were coming from that environment. So it's the college level. So they are really competitive. They, have, they are really physical over there. So they create a lot of problems. But under those moments, the team, they fought together. So they were trying to show what we are trying to achieve. So the result was not important. We won the games. We, we draw one and we won the other two. We were okay on the results, but the, the intentions are starting to appear there. So we are going through before, before the game and at halftime, it, it's really clear that if we focus not on, on, on the performance, but the, the intentions they are trying to achieve, then sometimes it will be about the, the grass or the, the one the, not, not so good moment, but the intentions are getting to be there. So they are arriving to the game model. And so, and they are actually uh, preparing themselves related with our game model. So I never spoke about the opponent's structure or the way of, or that we are trying to win. So it's always about ourselves. And then we are sharing the moments as well. So we are sharing the time with, between the, the players, always with the same structure, always looking for the same principles, always looking for the same things. And after three weeks, I find myself with something that uh, some players, they are getting it. Some players, they are really learning. Some players are trying to understand that they did put the, the team first and the, the interactions are going to be, are starting to be better. And some other players that play that play more like the instinct players or they were not really used to be focused every single day, they are getting more difficult here. So. We, it's funny to understand the, the learning curve so for the players regarding the game model. So we have different speeds on learning, different ways of um, adapting themselves to the team environments. And that's why that every single day, they are on top of something that is important for the game. Many times, more than one thing only. Um, but it, I, I, sometimes I feel that if I don't do this, they play like their game. Okay, so that's why we're always on top of our principle for our play. And then one of the key issues for me is about which priorities I have at this moment. So I don't go for the little things. The little things are giving, are giving by the players. I'm, go, I'm always on the top of the major things, like the micro principle of my game model. And then try to have that in between and at the same time, how we can grow. For example, if we are putting like a high pressing uh, zone, it's not about the opponent, they, oh, they are doing do this or that. It's how my players are understanding and uh, intentionally doing the pressing as a team or as individually. It's not about, oh, they're playing with three or two in the midfield. It's not important that. The important is that what we are having, like the, the new habits as a team. And, um, it's been really nice. It's a great, it's a great, great challenge for me. Because we don't have the culture of the club, we don't have the culture of the, the place coming from the same club and the academy. So everything is new. Only the only thing that is common at the moment on the field is the game model. Not even the language. The language is different. So players let's speak Spanish and English and Portuguese and other languages, Serbian or Hungarian, right? <laughs>